Lufthansa, the official airline of the most expensive transfers in history. Everything looks good. Welcome aboard, Gareth. Just want to let you know I've always been a big fan of whales. Beautiful creatures. Man of the year, lost year. Pogba! Duh. Cool hair, bro! <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? Stones. First name? <laughs> you should really know who I am. I cost 50 million pounds. 15 million? 15 million? 50. F 50 million. <laughs> Is there something wrong with my ticket? No, you can get on the plane. Ibra, I can't believe you went for 50 million. If it's that big of a deal, we, we throw him out the window. window. Throw him out? Of the plane? Oh, 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 oh. I'm literally breaking out because of the god. In about 10 minutes time, these lines are gonna be freaking gone. A few inches later. What's up, boys, and welcome to the most expensive transfer in history, foot draft episode, yeah! So it's been about a month and a half since I did my last foot draft, and I had a sweet idea to do the highest transfer fees in history foot draft. Basically, the way it's gonna work is every time the selections pop up, I am gonna be forced to select the most expensive player based on transfer history, based on the top 50 most expensive players of all time. I am wearing, of course, the PSG Zlatan Ibrahimovic kit. He comes in, I believe, what was he? 11th when he went from Inter to Barcelona for a fee of 57 million pounds. We're gonna go with the pound figure. Obviously, it starts with Paul Pogba at 90 million pounds and then goes all the way down where does the list go? The list ends with Karim Benzema, AK Sex Tape, at 30 million pounds, and then Granite Jaka and Sadio Mane are at 48 and tied at 50 as well. But that is what we're gonna do. Have no idea how the chemistry is gonna work out. Actually, not that scared about the chemistry, given that a lot of these signings are to Real Madrid, Manchester United. So we should have a little bit of chemistry help there. But it is definitely gonna be interesting to see how this squad pans out. Not much in the way of rewards right now. I think 88 Lacazette and Kaka are the two players that I'd like to get in a pack reward. But I honestly haven't had anything incredible in a pack reward uh, all season, most likely because of the fact. Look at our record 181 and 131. That is freaking shit. Highest was 191. Goal differential of 128. This is going to be practice for FIFA 17 because you best believe that we're going to come back with some foot drafts. So this is going to be some practice. If you guys do enjoy the episode, if you guys do like the idea, hit that like button. Let's try and blast 15 likes as well. If you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. And let me know some other foot draft stipulations. I have a couple ideas in mind, but let me know and I will pick a good idea to do for possibly a weekend foot draft episode. Let me know in the comment section below. But without any further ado, boys, let's go in with 15,000. Let's go in with 15,000. Let's go in with 15,000 coins. And I can't even remember what formation I loved in the foot draft. 4 one 2 one 2 definitely not. Lone. You know what? We did have some degree of success with the 4-3-3. I do like the 4 triple 2 but I like the prospect of having wingers like Neymar and, uh, and Ronaldo. So let's see who's kicking it off. And we get ourselves... Now, Messi, we can't take because he's always been in Barcelona. There is no transfer V there. Here, it's clear. I was about to think that Hulk, because he went to the Chinese League, he probably got some crazy amount, which he did. But Ronaldo is going to be the answer here. Um, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, I believe, is the second most expensive transfer here. So we're going to go with Ronaldo, who came in at a whopping 80 million when he went from Manchester United to Real Madrid. We're going to go with our striker and see who we get to pair him up with. Now, I don't think Kane, none of these guys, Giovinc, there's no, nah. Giovinc of the MLS, not even worse, nah. Griezmann has been at Atletico. So we can choose whoever we want. And that actually works out great for us because we do want to go... Now, I've seen Net play with Perez, and Perez looks kind of like a beast, but I think we're going to go with that 86 Griezmann. So we're going with Griezmann, see who our right winger is. Now, this one is going to be pretty easy as well. I think we have to go Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale came in, what's he, second most expensive? Second most expensive when he went from Spurs to Real Madrid for 85 million pounds. Uh, depending on where you look, it says 80 or 85. So we're going to go with Gareth Bale there. And already... Have full chemistry because, like I said, a lot of the a lot of the top transfers um, are from uh, Liga BVA. Pjanic, is Pjanic in the top? I don't think so. That was kind of like a no. Pjanic isn't in there. But uh, Gundogan, Pastore, Aljazam, and Toliso. I think we'll just go with Toliso because he gets himself the freaking the Saudi uh, Steven Gerrard. I think we'll get uh, I think we'll get Toliso just because he links up. He gets some chemistry with Griezmann if we need it. Next up. Muller, Eriksson, Oscar, Kaugawa, and Kadorla. Let's just go with Kadorla because it might end up being a La Liga side. Let's go Kadorla. Gives us a little bit of the, uh, the Spanish flair. Let's go over to our other midfield. 
uh, other midfielders. See who we got, and we get the most expensive transfer in history, and that is Pogba. De Bruyne and Modric were pretty expensive in their own right. Um, and yes, they've been with Barca forever. De Bruyne is right there. Uh, I think he's top 10 or top 12, but we have to go freaking Pogba. Gets himself that nice little link with Poliso. Uh, let's go with our right back here. Who would we want? Oh, my combo. Dude, we get three freaking I bet of the matches. And I love myself a club 80. Almost a club 80. But you know what? Yeah, let's go Florenzi. Love F Florenzi. Moving on to our first center back. See who we get. Boateng, Laporte, Silva. Now, Silva, I know, went for a whole lot. Thiago Silva went for 33 million when he went from Milan to Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, Boateng has been at Bayern. Alaba, Laporte. So we have to go Silva. Which now I kind of regret not going my con because he was Brazilian, obviously. So that kind of sucks. And then moving on to our next player, we've got Godin, Barzagli, Vidic, Castan. And I don't... Godin, as far as I know, hasn't made a massive... Yeah, so Godin's not in there. And then Pepe just might be worth searching for Pepe. And no, nothing. So I think we're going to want to go... We're going to want to go Barzagli there and then flip them. Yeah, I'm pretty, good, pretty sure we're going to want to go Barzagli there. Let's go Barzagli. Flip these guys right there. Get the strong link. See who our left back is going to be. We can, yeah, we can pretty much choose whoever we want here. We get Navas, we get Petrček, Hendanovic, Mandanda, and Buffon. Let's check the list really quick. Probably not, none of these keepers are going to be in it. Let's just check it really quick. But we're going to want to go with Buffon. Links up with Barzagli. 87 rating, 81 chemistry. Let's fill out the bench. Let's see what kind of thing we can put together here. Castileo, the freaking, uh, the parakeet. Zuniga, Castileo, looks like a pretty solid card. Probably not going to use him in the squad. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy. Top 50 transfers, Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel, I don't think went for a whole lot when he went over to Arsenal. Budabuz, Iturbe, Figueres, Sigarini. Um, you know what? Yeah, we could do that. We could do Gabriel, and then Gabriel gets a nice little link there. We're up to 87 chemistry. We have a center back, and then Cadorla on seven, which is kind of nice. Would be nice to oh Torres, dude. Torres, I know, is up there. Torres is the 20th overall, 50 million. Don't tell me we have to take Raheem Sterling. Wait, what? Oh shit, and it's based on inflation as well. So Raheem Sterling at the time did go for more than Fernando Torres by a couple of pegs. Where does Hulk rank? Hulk is right after. So Hulk is 21, Fernando Torres is 20, and then Raheem Sterling is 16. So we have to go Raheem Sterling, who doesn't help us out pretty much at all. The only link he would get was, uh, the only link that he would get is with uh, Cadorla. Pardo, the troll Pardo. We get Lyon. I think we're just gonna go Lyon because we love him. And uh, now they look back, maybe we would have gone with uh, Rose, the left back. So we got a little bit of chemistry, a little bit more chemistry with, um, wait, is he, Li no, Liga Adelante, shit. Liga Adelante, but I think that is, shit, that's probably the only thing that helps us. Let's go with, uh, let's go with him. And then for now, at least get him a yellow link with Cadorla, even though they're in different leagues. But this is pretty crazy already. Holy freaking smokes. Neymar and then Di Maria. Di Maria's up there. Di Maria's number eight and then Neymar's number six. So we have to go Neymar. And it's going to be interesting to see where we actually peg him. Where are we going to actually play him? We've got Hulk. We've got Dos Santos. We've got Furinani. And then we've got Royce. Sanchez? I would have to check. Sanchez is number 36. And then Hulk. I feel like we're going to be forced. We're going to be forced to take Hulk. Mirzajewski, Rakitic, Pjanic. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Absolute freaking beast. We can go there. Oh, what was I saying? We, of course we have a Barca player. We have Neymar at left back. I just didn't see him there. Arnatovic, Casemiro, Ozilkup, Ben Arfa. Now, Ben Arfa, I know he transferred, but he is not a top 50 transfer. Uh, Cam, Casemiro, that is a no-brainer. And then we can take out him, and then we get some good chemistry there. We're up to 85 chemistry. Chemistry's actually gone down, given what we've just done. Sidibe, we've got Mendy. We've got Anua, Sidibe Pereira, Walker, Iriola, and then Gaia. I think Gaia is going to be the guy that we want to take here. Uh, lastly, but not least, we got our keeper, Farman. Bravo is about to go to Manchester City. We don't know what the terms of that are going to be, but let's just take... Uh, do we have a Premier League keeper? We do not have a Premier League keeper, but we do have the option for another... No, let's just go with... Uh, let's just go with Bravo. But there is the squad, boys. 85 rating, 86 chemistry. Let's switch the squad around, see what the best possible solution we can have. The most expensive transfer history foot draft. Let's freaking check it out. Boys, if we can get ourselves a Brazilian manager, I think that would help us out the most. Or a French manager, Arsene Wenger, helps, helps out uh, Griezmann and Pogba. Pogba, who does need chemistry. Let's go ahead. 
and just take, uh, we'll just take, uh, Arsene Wenger, see what we get for our draft result, and I don't think it's gonna be incredible. 176, not bad for the most expensive transfer stipulation. We're gonna get this foot draft, see if we can go all the way, gonna shake some rust off, not sure how competitive is, uh, how competitive foot, foot, not sure how competitive the foot draft is this late into FIFA. Let's get into match number one, let's see if we can tear it up. Damn, we have the exact same kit configuration. Dude, switch it. First off, this squad is freaking crazy. Second off, I made a huge error when I said there weren't any keepers. Buffon, when he came from Parma to Juventus, is number 23. I don't see any other keepers. Buffon, I think, is the only keeper in the top 50. Ronaldo. <sighs> Shit. Come on, one mil! It's only match number one, Jesus! It's all coming back how excited I used to get doing foot drafts. Scoring that first goal in the first match, you know you have such a long way to go. Three more full matches, and this one's not even over yet. Why would I fucking risk that, bro? When I think of moist, I think of... I feel like I just got punched in the nuts. Oh my god, I've completely given this away, dude. Wow. Wow! Okay, what is happening right now? Griezmann! Come on, boys! Somewhat of a tramp goal, but it doesn't matter in foot draft. You gotta get yourself. There's a prize at the end, boys. There's pride, and there's also a prize at the end. Come on! You know when you know Pogba's gonna score? You know when you know Pogba's gonna score! about to do the dab, I just don't think I can bring myself to do it. Yes! And there you have it! 5-2! Looked shit early on. We were down 2-1 going into half. We come back and we win that thing 5-2. That's how you bring a game back, boys. That is how you rebound. Usually never matters. Nine times out of ten, we win ourselves match number one. Match number two and three are obviously way more difficult. Uh, match stats, 9.6. Bill was absolutely freaking out of his mind. Match stats, 10 shots, 4 on target for him. 16 shots, 10 on target for me. Turned it up big time in the second half. Let's get in the second match. Oh, no. Next opponent has De Bruyne. He's got Muller. He's got freaking Vidal. He's got Balotelli. Really saw a look inside right here. FC Gravy. Get ready to get freaking gravy, bro. FC Gravy. Get ready to get freaking gravy, bro. <sighs> Good one. Oh, Griezmann top left. All year long we've been doing that. Ten minutes in, we draw level. Come on, boys. It's gonna be crazy to see what the uh, what the OP situation is gonna be in FIFA 17. Is it gonna be long shots? Is it gonna be near post? Is it gonna be far post? It's gonna be absolutely freaking nuts. Casemiro buries it 2-1. Casemiro, what a beautiful run and even better finish from Casemiro. Let's go. What the <laughs> fuck was that? There you go, Bale! Bale, the freaking snail from Wales. 3-2, 34th minute, Los Gates. Oh my god, dude, this is such shit, bitch. Yes! No, it's not gonna be the last goal. Match number two is proving to be absolutely freaking crazy. Just as crazy as the first match. We have no possession, 44%. But somehow we've got four goals, boys. Let's go in the second half. Let's freaking... Let's score three more. Let's make it 7-3. Score that! 15 shots, 
13 on target! What? I can already tell you this is going to pass. And an idiot! Okay. It had to be the perfect pass. It was. But we just didn't do enough! Yes! Set the tone. Come on. We buried the first one. Stay middle on this one. No! Right. He's gonna go right! We said. Yes! Come on! Move on! I should freaking blast that, son! No, oh, I was gonna go right! Ooh! Not going right. Go on, Matt. Please go! And we saved it! And we freaking win! I thought we needed to score one more! And we freaking get it! We win the impossible pens! Come on, Max number three, let's go! Holy freaking gamokes, boys. 17 shots, 15 on target. <sighs> these these games are gonna give me a freaking heart attack. Match number three, and it doesn't look like it's getting any easier. He's got Griezmann, Messi, freaking Ronaldo. Can we hold on for two more matches? Shit. Shit. Oh, that's not the start. That is not the start we were looking for, boys. Wow, 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 wow. 2 0. Jesus. He is just tearing me up. He's tearing me up, boys. That's it. I think I lost, boys. I think I lost, unless I have the most miraculous second half of all time. Do I have a shot on target? Wow. It. Okay. All right. Okay, is it possible? 77th minute, the boys fought well. There's nothing else we can say, dudes. I mean, I thought there was a chance because we hadn't done foot draft in a long time and because it's fairly competitive that we were gonna stand a chance in match number three, but no, we get freaking crushed. Cristiano Ronaldo, 5.4 rating. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Eight shots, four on target, nine shots, seven on target for him. Let's see what our reward is gonna be if we get anything at all. We get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and a Premium Gold Pack. Let's just open the Jumbo Premium Gold. See if we get anything sweet in there. Holy freaking smokes. And we get... Balotelli. Alright, I guess... Liverpool Balotelli. I guess it could be worse. But anyway, boys, that is the most expensive transfers in history foot draft stipulation. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. If you guys have another idea for me for a stipulation I could do in the foot draft, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, tschüss, later, ade. Who wants to be the captain? I do. Is there anyone? Down here. You.